Disney presents The Wonderful World And now we present Gray Friars Bobby. Part one of Greyfriars Bobby. Old Jock departed for Edinburgh, leaving behind his faithful Sky Terrier, Bobby. This time, however, Jock, in ill health, wouldn't be coming back. Well, times are very hard, Jock. I just can't afford you, that's all. Bobby refused to stay behind and raced to Edinburgh to find his friend. When the two were finally reunited, it was too late. Old Jock was laid to rest in Greyfriars' Kirkyard, the graveyard where Bobby took up his lonely vigil. Here, his loyalty became known to the people of Edinburgh. That's the dog I put out before. Aye. The old man was his master. Be that as it may, the dog's no staying in my Kirkyard. Bobby's new owner tried to keep him at home. Take him away, buddy. But the brave terrier refused to stay. And now, as he stands guard, we begin Greyfriars Bobby, part two. There's the red dog Mr. Charles looking for. All his life, he'd been used to earning his keep. So right away, he set to work keeping the kirkyard free of trespassing cats and rodents. A job that needed to. <laughs> Good night to you, Bobby. Good night, Bobby. Girls are out to party at Ramsey Street, but who will score the big jackpot? The stakes are high in the game of love when Neighbours continues 6.30 tomorrow here on 10. And coming up next, The Nanny.